Doesn't it just feel great? Doesn't it just feel fantastic to accept that Roman Reigns is our tribal chief? Is sitting at the head of the table. And if you, unlike the rest of us, have not yet accepted this fact, then I feel for you. I really do. Because when you do accept that he is your tribal chief and he does this for you, you will feel a million times better. This is Wrestling Banks, and this is my WrestleMania Night 2 review. <laughs> like, this is great banter. 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 No rain. WrestleMania was not thunderstruck. No rainomania. No WrestleMania. But we did get Long John Titus and Blackbeard Hogan kicking off the show. What was that? They were in fancy dress all night. They looked absolutely ridiculous. Poor Hulk Hogan. What are they doing to him? Just, this has got to be a rib on him. Surely. Surely. Oh, they've killed him. They have killed Hulk Hogan. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Absolutely. That's what you had for us. After all of this, Randy Orton, The Fiend, Alexa Bliss, the shit we've had to sit through for weeks on Raw, that's what you had planned. That's what you were building up to. You burnt The Fiend. That was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I've got to say, I wasn't excited for the tag team match. The women's titles were on the line. Nia, Shayna, Tamina, Natalia. They delivered. What a match. For me, Natalia carried it. Brilliant performance from her. And the sell at the end, passing out on the choke from Shayna. Brilliant. This show got a kick up the arse it really, really needed then. Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens took this show to a whole nother stratosphere. What a match. The only problem for me was Logan Paul didn't need to be there. He was just in the bloody way. Get him out of here. I hate what they've been doing with Matt Riddle. He's a complete joker goof. What they did with him backstage with RVD, yeah, it was kind of funny. But he's goofy. But when the bell rings, he actually gets serious and he has good matches. And he had another good match here with Sheamus. This was a good WrestleMania match. Sheamus delivers on every big show he's on. He has good matches. This was hard hitting, vicious. And the way they finished it, wow. Riddle back flipping off the rope. Sheamus catching him with a knee. One, two, three. We have a new... United States champion, Sheamus. Yes, Big E loses. Yes, you can be upset about that. But he didn't lose clean. Some big fucker, don't know who he is, gets in the ring, helps Apollo win. So for me, that tells a good story. We can carry on with this. A Big E can chase that title, get through that big ass fucker, then chase Apollo for the title again. Get his title back. And what a story that will be. Instead of beats Apollo, then who's next? Beats the next guy, who's next? Beats the next guy. There's actually a story to get invested in now. We've got something. The women over WrestleMania were going for it, weren't they? They wanted to have the match of the show. They wanted to steal the show. They did it on night one easily. Bianca and Sasha. Night two, the tag team match was really, really good, like I said. And then, and then, Oscar, Rhea Ripley. What a match. Blew everything away that came before it, completely. I was blown away by that match. Rhea Ripley 
is Raw. She's the Raw Women's Champion now. Build Raw around Rhea. Ripley is Raw. You know it makes sense. Roman Reigns is your tribal chief. He does it for everyone. He said that he would win. He said that Edge and Daniel Bryan were just dreamers. And he proved that on this night. Just accept the fact that he is your tribal chief and life itself will be so much better for you. What a match it was, though. What a match! WrestleMania classic. Great way to finish a very good WrestleMania. Yeah, you had your moments that weren't so great, but you'll never forget them. Some of the moments in WrestleMania, you had Michael Cole and Samoa Joe in their rain max. You had Mandy Rose falling on her ass. Alexa Bliss pissing out black stuff. Then burying the fiend. Bianca Belair had her moment with Sasha Banks in the main event. And we saw how much it meant to them. What a moment that was. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens getting their moment at WrestleMania. Cesaro having his WrestleMania moment. Braun Strowman beating the fuck out of Shane McMahon in a steel cage. Rhea Ripley winning the title. Bobby Lashley retaining his. And Roman Reigns remains at the head of the table. Once all has been said and done. What a WrestleMania it was. Exceeded my expectations heading into it. After TakeOver I was like no. There is no way WrestleMania can even compare to that. But they delivered. And yes, the best return in WrestleMania history had a part to play. The greatest return ever in WrestleMania history. The fans. They made that difference for me. Watching it, it's just a different Completely different thing. Completely different. So happy they were back for that show. I know they're going to be going away again now. We're back to the Thunderdome. But for that one night, it was just so special. And you saw how much it meant to the wrestlers. Just to have someone to perform in front of. They are performers. as They are entertainers. They want to entertain us. They want to see us being entertained. They want to see the enjoyment, hear the enjoyment from those people they are entertaining. And not getting that must have been really hard for them. They got their moments. They all deserved it and they all put on a fantastic WrestleMania. One of the best WrestleManias I've seen in a long time. In my opinion. You'd have to go back well over 10 years. For a better Wrestlemania than that. In my opinion. Very, very good. Let me know what you thought of Wrestlemania down below. What were some of your favourite moments? I really want to know. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Wrestling Bants. Please hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button. You know it makes sense. Roman Reigns is your tribal chief. And he is at the head of the table.